Okay, I'm going to call the Parks and Rec Commission meeting to order. This is Monday, July 1st, 2019. So the first order of business is our public forum. So do we have anyone who wishes to speak? Wow. Okay, so we're going to take this oh, time, wait, though. Wait, and got one oh, I'm sorry. Mandy Sorrentino, I live at 249 Driftwood Lane. Um, I'm here for the splash pad. Uh, interest continues to be really high, and I'm looking forward to hearing an update um, from Tom, if Rick has that. And um, I did want to share with you that we did start kind of a soft fundraising initiative by taking pledges, and so we've had interest in, in that too. So the question had come up, you know, do you think you'll be able to fundraise for this? And I just wanted to share with you that, yes, we do have interest already starting, very soft, because we're not, you know, going to go gung-ho on it quite yet. Um, but people are, continue to be interested and excited to hear more about our progress. Wow. Thank, you. Thank you. And we'll, we will move that up. Let me, let's first. Um, so we want to take a minute do you, and introduce Taryn, um, our new. Um, why don't you go to the mic? So we can all. Reach you. Song I, told you about today. I know I a little dance with it. No. <laughs> um, so hi everybody. I just wanted to introduce uh, myself. My name is Taryn Herb, um, and I just I've just been here just about a just a month now. Um, I have been here prior to just as a seasonally as the camp director, but I'm very happy to be back here now, back working with the community as recreation coordinator. Starting off with camp has been great because I'm very familiar with it, so it's been a nice, easy transition into it. Um, but then I'm looking forward to really getting involved come the fall with new programs and especially looking forward to kind of like revamping our preschool program and building that up as well. So I'm very happy to be here, and thank you for having me. Welcome. 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 Thank you. Um, you made me think. Terry, you're here for the... It's the meals. The meals. That's the very last thing on our agenda. So, do you think we should could move up, get a motion to move up the splash pad, 7E, and uh, new business A, so that these people can get home? I will make a motion to move up the splash pad and new, um, new business E. Um, now. <clears throat> Second. 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 Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, so why don't we get an update on the splash pad? Because <coughs> they're younger than you are. <laughs> the little ones have to get to bed. So we have two quotes for feasibility studies, one from Weston Sampson. That's the company we originally were looking at. Um, I don't have copies of them here, but I wrote down. Uh, theirs uh, included looking at, uh, both of them included looking at Vintner Park and Jacobs Beach as options to, for the splash pad. and. Um, so Weston and Sampson, their total uh, was $9,250. And that would do a water capacity study at, at uh, Bittner to see if there's enough water in the well to make this happen. Um, and uh, site feasibility. Um, Schmidt, this, this guy Tom, that met with um, Mandy and me last week, uh, Schmidt is the company. They're uh, here in Orange. Weston Sampson is in Massachusetts. So their base plan in feasibility study is um, 6,500 plus miscellaneous expenses figure probably 7,000. Um, and they had other other things in there like if, if they actually created a conceptual plan, which I think would probably be more part of the beyond feasibility. I think the next phase, you know, where you actually get the plan to build it. Um, so I didn't. I mean, with that, their cost was about 9,500. But I think we're just right now we're looking for feasibility. But I, I want to just throw this out there. Um, when we went on, um, it was last Tuesday, I think, uh, Mandy, we went. The, the the gentleman from Schmidt, I think, felt pretty strong about Jacobs Beach. The other company felt more strongly, I think, about Bittner. But the question mark at Bittner is, what is water? We don't know if there's enough water in that well or the recovery and that kind of stuff. Um, we, uh, we looked at a different spot at Jacobs uh, from what um, the Weston and Sampson folks thought when we were down there kind of where the Gaga pit is. I think actually Mandy suggested that. So we asked the question, can it be on the beach in the sand? So yeah, we, we build a lot of them on the sand and just broom it off periodically, whatever. An advantage of that spot, is, as opposed to the playground area, the Wait, playground area. If you're building it on the sand, that means the base of it is going to be the sand. Yes. Okay. Yeah, just yeah. Get that straight so right, right where the Gaga pit is right now, 
So just, I just want to make sure we're not pouring concrete or something you on know, top of the sand. You know, that's funny. I yeah. was yeah. just down okay. there on Wednesday when I was supposed to meet you, and I forgot about it. But I went yeah. down to take my grandson, and I was looking around, and I thought the Gaga pit area would be ideal. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Much better my personality. What's the Gaga pit? Oh, Gaga okay. Pit is it's like, like a, it's kind of like dodgeball in a way. It's an octagonal thing that our guys built. It's um, okay. about as big as you know this area yeah. of the table here, roughly. It's kind of like dodgeball, but you play it inside this walled-in area, and you, you can't throw it. You have to kind of hit it. Okay. Right again. Very, very popular. Uh, our guys built it. Our own staff built it and put it there. It's portable. Yeah. We take it down every year. It's a section, so we can move it. I think one of the benefits there, if we do, if we all agree, Jacobs Beach. I, I'm, I'm giving you all this because because maybe. Maybe we don't need to spend all this on feasibility study. If we can kind of decide that we think that's a good spot for it, mm -hmm. maybe we don't spend money studying Bittner. You know, I think we could save some money with it. Uh, I'm just throwing this all out there. And so um, the advantage there, of course, is that there's, there's already water there, uh, and that's the biggest advantage. And we talked about how do you reuse the water. He likes to create rain gardens, mm -hmm. and so you reuse the water to water the rain gardens, and one of the things we talked about is a way to directed to the uh, to the islands that are there because there's no way to water the plants on those islands could be there and it's like drip you know watering kind of thing but as part of what he does we also talked about the the, the one of the flaws of Jacobs Beach is, is parking because we already got a lot of activity down there where do we put the cars so we talked about beyond the um, pavilion to the left that aggress area going toward where archery is not all the way to archery for camp but in that area maybe formalize that Right now it's just grass, you know, but maybe we, we fence that off like we did the other grassy area with the, the big um, timbers, you know, uh, right. type of fencing, guardrail type fencing, and create a parking area there. Because right now it's... Is that where we, the storage area is? is it, that kind of that area, area. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But formalize it and just yeah. get some of that fencing and put it in there, and that now becomes parking. Do we anticipate there's going to be a huge increase in parking? I don't know. Uh, I mean, maybe you've been to uh, Splash Pads. I, I, I don't know uh, what kind of popularity they have, uh, if it increases a lot. Um, I don't know. I mean, what, what's your experience in places you've been? I would expect to increase the first year when it's new. But after that, I think people settle into a routine. Like, kids are at different ages, they navigate their times, and I think you kind of even out. Um, and I think it's a bigger draw to the beach, and more people buy beach passes, but I don't think. Have we run this by the subcommittee yet? The su subcommittee is Claire and Mandy and uh, who? Uh, I uh, Veronica, I think. Yeah, well, I, I got all this stuff like late Friday. Okay. So I just so start, I just start digesting it today. Basically, I think we need to get it to the subcommittee yeah, and let I think them you're start right. to, yeah. to deal with this. Yeah. And then, then bring it back to us when you have something more solid. Right, as you well know, I'm not a big parking lot guy. Um, why don't can we just have them park at the uh, Chicken Inn Park there, and they, have them? They do, already do. That's they do. usually pretty full. Yeah, that already happens, and people walk in, which they're supposed to still pay. It's not a parking fee; it's a user fee, and our gate guards have to kind of chase them down when they're walking into the parking lot. Um, but um, they, but they they park there now. On a busy weekend. <clears throat> Excuse me, our lot is filled and people still park over there. Uh, even on a non busy weekend, when we were playing bocce in the morning, people park there mm -hmm. yeah. and put everything in their wagon and walk over to the beach. Just so see, they you know, use it keep, quite, you know, quite a lot. We just keep accommodating cars, accommodating cars. It just attracts more cars. It's just. I understand you can't ignore parking, people leave parking, but yeah. then again. And I'm not talking about paving it, I'm just saying, no, you know, because no. we already park on the grass. The grass is the overflow, we just extend the overflow. Yeah, you know, it just make it a bigger yeah. overflow area, and yeah. uh, or maybe we try to direct the people who, for picnics to park in that area, so they're near the pavilion. That frees up the rest of the area for everything else. See, Sherry, Sherry, like you said, Chitton and Park that fills up. Like I don't know if it fills up, but people do park there. It, it for gets sure. pretty full, yeah. 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 The beach isn't always filled, though, is no. it? No, it's. I mean, drop off, pick up time during camp. I mean, I, I you know. Yeah. Well, weekdays is it's, it's fuller on weekends for sure. Yeah. So, you know, I was there uh, Sunday. Um, and it was threatening storms. I mean, there was a, a picnic going on, and still probably at least 50 cars in the parking lot. You can better use of that area in parking cars. I mean, you know. Uh, 
All right. Well, so let's let's we'll run it by the, basically uh, let's yeah. get this all this information to the subcommittee, and you'll make sure you'll talk to Claire and get this. Yeah. Thank you. And let's let them do their their job for us, and then we'll sure. we'll go from there. All right. Um, senior meals, Terry. You want to address the senior meals? What, Rick? Who wants to address the senior meals? Did you make coffee? I didn't, but uh, well, I'll start the introduction, and Terry can follow up. Um, so. We always start looking um, at, at all of our accounts when <clears throat> we get to the end of the year here. And, and Terry figured with the senior meals account, we're, uh, we're at a substantial lower than what we have budgeted. So it's, we're going to, I say lose, but we're, we're about 6800 almost $7,000. But I'll have figures final to finance it. Right. But my estimate is about 6800 over the $20,000 subsidy. Twenty. Six thousand something. Yeah, twenty-six thousand something. Yeah, we're going to be short, but just to say seven, roughly seven thousand um, dollars. The you know number of meals served is up. It's up. Um, about uh, let's see, the ones served in the center are up about fourteen hundred. Um, the meals on wheels actually is down a little bit, four seventy. Um, so we have a net of about. An additional thousand between what's served in the center and what's served meals on the meals. So maybe we have more people coming in. I think we, we have more people coming into the center <laughs> now. Instead of getting bored, it was nice. Mm -hmm. Nice social opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what Rick and I talked about is it's been a number of years since we have increased the fee. If we went up even a quarter, that would, and started it in September because we have to give a couple months' notice. Um, that would have covered that for at least moving forward next year. We still have to figure out what's about this. 325 now, right? It's 325 and 425. Right. And then when we have a special event, well, that's like a different it's about six, and I think that could go up too. Okay. So, so, we're, we're, so basically, we're proposing that it goes from 325 to 350? Correct. And then from 425. And, and, but the meal, the, let me just clarify. No, for, that's uh, just lunch. For Meals on Wheels, uh, they, oh, we always charge them 25 cents less per meal because they don't get the, we figured that's the cost of the, the, the plastic wear plates, cups, okay. and all. They don't get all that. So we always have charged well, we'll them 25 cents less. It'll be plus 25 cents. <laughs> for what, they now pay um, three, right? three for them. Yeah. So they would go to 325 rather than the three fifty. Okay. It still stay, stay a quarter below what we, we charge. Okay. All right. And I did discuss that with their uh, director today, just so they're aware mm -hmm. that we were going to have a conversation about it tonight. And as Terry said, we wouldn't, we would suggest not implementing it until September okay. 1st. We have time to get get it advertised, let people know. And um, but um, I think for this year we're going we're going to be okay. I, I met with Mary Jane uh, briefly about it today, the finance director, mm -hmm. and we're going to we'll know better. Mid July, because all the bills for everything are not in yet. But in utilities alone, we, we hardly did any irrigation. The, yeah. Of all the rain, yeah. Yeah. yeah so, the so I think we're going to save ten thousand dollars maybe in, in utilities. So I think there's money in the budget to cover it. I don't think we have to ask for more funds because okay. we're going to be in the hole. Uh, I'll know better when we get, everything comes in from all the accounts. We're just not there yet. But based on projections, I think we're going to be okay. Any, any questions about this one? Or? And then the special would stay at a six, six fifty thereabouts. Mm -hmm. Depending, yeah. Well, it's up to you. I mean, you, 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 you've got the numbers. Um, I, mean, def I mean, events, those special events that used to draw 70, 80 people are, are now drawing hundreds. Now. Oh. I mean, we're drawing 140, 150 people. I know. Most of these special events um, where we have entertainment or that type of thing. Um, population's growing. It definitely you're doing is. A good job, Terry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Yes, absolutely. It definitely is growing. So. Well, you want to go to six fifty? Do we do we are, 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 are the are the special I was just gonna say the special events really are very changeable depending on what it is. So maybe we should just leave that at the discretion right. of, of, yeah. of you and Larry to yeah. Yeah. if it's special you figure right. out what mm -hmm. we need. Okay. All right. I would I'd feel more comfortable doing that because you know, if you're doing something at night it's a little different than the picnic. Mm -hmm. the, right. So we don't want to be tied into that. Okay. I'll work with Larry on, the, on each event. Okay. 
All right, so we need a motion, I guess, to uh, increase the senior meals from 325 to 350 or 425 to 450, depending on the day of the week and the meal. And you want to add meals and wheels on that, too, to go to 325? And meals and wheels as well, plus, yes. 25 cent increase for meals on wheels. Because that's the bulk of our meals. 70% of our meals is meals okay. on wheels. Works for me. <coughs> All right, somebody please make the motion. I'll make a motion to increase our fees, senior meals fees. Should I list them all? No, nah, by 25 cents. By 25 cents. <laughs> that works. I'll second. All right, any other discussion on this? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. You're good to go, guys. Thank you for coming. Thanks, Thank Gary. Okay, let's go back to correspondence. Um, we have the letter that Rick sent to Christine about she was asking for a bench and you told you actually asked her for more information and we have just received this today so I would like to table this because I haven't had a chance to read it and I don't think I can make a decent decision until we read this over and think about it so should you can we put this off table this until next month yep we okay. make a motion we table it all right. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So we're, this is getting tabled until next month. Okay. Um, we also have some correspondence from Laura Raymond concerning the traffic uh, going in and out of Seaside Avenue. Um, I mean, I noticed that you responded to her. Yeah, her original letter um, went to uh, Jeff Hutchinson and uh, Matt Hoey also, because she was concerned about traffic going to the marina right. and everything. And so I responded with whatever our part is. Okay, so we are asking the parents, we are notifying them. Yes. Okay. Maybe we should put some signage up. They put up, they put the speed limit signs, or the, yeah. the um, radar. Police department does that periodically throughout okay. the summer, and I don't know if they've done it yet this year, but they do do that. Have you talked so, to Reminder at Sign It, like something there? Have yeah. you talked to them about that? Um, I think I think it might have been in here. I think. Uh, do you want me to stop I over thought, there? You know what? I thought Jeff that. responded to her too, Jeff okay, Hutchinson. Well maybe he did then. We we're not aware of it, so I'll check. Oh, I know. I know. It says that she asked Jeff for a speed sign, so he's aware of that. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. Whether that's happened yet, I don't. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, as far as uh, taking a bus down there, you can't even get take a right hand turn with a regular car without going in the other lane. You know, when you take that right hand turn, you you have no choice but to go in the opposite lane to make that. If we were to get a bus to have to pick up all the kids all over town, it, the cost of camp would yeah. skyrocket. Mm -hmm. it the would cost go of camp way, would way skyrocket, and it doesn't make sense. I mean, she referenced you know towns having buses, right. but it's because people come from far away and meet right. up, and mm -hmm. you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. Well, I, I got well, the impression that's what she meant down there. Meet them at the at meet them at Adams. Really? Some yeah, place and then bust the kids there. down. Wow. But but on a regular basis, it doesn't make sense because the kids are all. Yeah. I mean, it's all over town. We'd well, have to have one central point to meet. Right, and, and then, then that doesn't. There. It wouldn't. I don't know. But if a parent's running late, yeah. I don't think it is. Well, we haven't. We don't have the money for it right now, so we're not going to go there. And they don't all get picked up at the same time. We have aftercare. That's the problem. We have aftercare. Yes. And they don't get dropped off at the same time. No, they don't. And that becomes the problem. Yeah. So. Have we gotten any other um, emails about this? No. Uh, we, well, in the past, we had, you know, about people going too fast down that street, and that's when the police department started putting the radar thing up there. And it, I think it helps for a while anyway. At least it's a, a reminder that, you know, you're going 10 miles, 20 miles over the speed limit, and you slow down. But um, Isn't it more of a police issue than our issue? I, I think that part is, but <clears throat> we, we do put in our packet, Ellen confirmed, Ellen confirmed it's in the yeah. parent packet. On that, a singular page, like a big. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's I there. think it was on a singular page, but it was bold, big. You okay. couldn't just pass through it. It wasn't in the fine print right. in the rules. It was like. And know, we remind staff. our staff, you know, there's a speed limit. You know, courteous to neighbors here. Mm -hmm. Don't go speeding down the road. And um, so we, it's it's a reminder. Sometimes we all need that. Okay. It's a reminder everywhere. Yeah. It's, yeah. You know what? Well, in like, North like, Guilford, it is. I mean, it's every, it's, it's everywhere. And, and as a runner, like I yeah. Said, it's I can't tell you how many times I've nearly been mowed yeah. down yeah. everywhere. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's bad. 
we yeah, rushed to get nowhere. Out of our hands, is you just raise the price of gasoline ten bucks a gallon. We <laughs> <laughs> get people out of their cars real quick. Mm -hmm. but that's not our issue. Yeah. Okay, and our last piece of correspondence came from Gus Kellogg, who uh, wrote to Taryn and and about the. Um, what is it? Go get out, out way, way get out, way out, out, out program. Way. Yes, <laughs> I couldn't remember whether it's go or get, but yes. Yeah, well, what's go all again? Get out, way get out, out way out. 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 So so it's it's for older teens. It's for younger teens. Seventh and eighth graders. Yeah, they go on field trips. Oh, okay. And you they see, love you'll it. see yeah. the elementary program. We have ninety kids in that program. It's like yeah. a, it's a camp program, but it's a different or twelve. I mean, we struggle. We use our senior bus. Yeah, yeah. And now we have three, that. two buses, two buses we have to hire to transport the kids out. Yeah. It has grown exponentially. Well, I said that in here, but it really has. It has. Grown. Everything, luckily, is yeah. is growing here. So, because the town is growing. And the town is growing. Okay, so um, let's move on to our minutes of June third. Can I get a motion to accept the minutes? I'll make a motion to accept the minutes of June, the June 3rd meeting. Second, please. Second. All right, are there any additions, corrections, deletions, anything? Minutes will good to everybody? Good. All in favor? Aye. I, I, should, I wasn't here. I wasn't here either. So. I wasn't either, so she'll get that. All right, the bills. <coughs> Any questions, concerns on our bills? Just when are we going to get rid of the high school? <laughs> yeah, right? Sure. When they're ready to do it. I mean, you know, yeah. we, we, we ask, we ask, we ask, we ask. So, I, you know, there's no answer to your question. It seems like we but, you know what? did it Again, for a length of time. Well, we did, but if... You know, it's, whatever it's costing us will come out of the budget when they take it away. Right. So it's a wash for us. It's not like they're going to take it away and not take the money out of the did, budget for it. Did they? Did they increase? I'm, I'm sorry. Did they increase the budget when when we did take that on? Yes. Yeah, we did. Yeah, so okay. they added to our utilities. It was account. added to our utilities. Yeah. Do we break even on? We don't lose on it. But yeah, we don't whatever lose is budgeted, we yeah, okay. we, we yeah. recover. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So any questions on the bills? Okay, motion to accept the bills. Make a motion to accept the bills for June. Uh, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All right, Rick, director's report, department's reports. Um, I'll highlight a couple. Uh, number 11, uh, met with the Inland Wetlands Commission at Lake Quadipog. Um That's for the expansion of the crew boat cage there. Um, and Matt Wilson, who's the crew coach, was there. And um, I, I would say there, there wasn't a lot of a favorable comments uh, about not coming out toward the beach. So like we've approved to 15 feet out, I think, but it's the part that goes by the water because it, it goes pretty much right along the water, and I think they have some issues with that. Um, their meeting is July 10th. I've already uh, let Kevin McGee know I, I cannot be there because of a conflict that night, but Will Thompson will be there. It's really, really Will's project. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's designed it. He's going to be there, and I let him know that um, they have some concerns about it. So I say, you might want to just think about I mean, some of the alternatives they suggested was uh, on the other side of the road in the parking lot, and, you know, Matt said, which I agree, those boats are 60 feet long. And every day, you know, my kids that walk across Route 77 carrying them onto the beach, that's not a good idea. Um, so, uh, 7.30, I think, on July 10th. What's um, this UV meter and the sunshine? Sun uh, ultraviolet meter, this is our second. Yeah. We had it last year down at Jacob's yeah. Beach, a company called Solarware. Yeah. It's right by the bathhouse, and it's a meter that tells you, based on what the sun intensity is, mm -hmm. says that, in 15 minutes, you can get a sunburn, half an hour or whatever, and there's a, a sunscreen dispenser on it. So you can screen up. And uh, yeah, it's nice. We, we had it last year, and uh, we, we pay a rental fee on it for like for the summer. And um, I think it's $250 a month. Um, Do they refill it with sunscreen and all that? Uh, they, they gave us an extra bag, so that if yeah. we run out, we, we just put it on. It's just and people like, are using it, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Can you tell my yeah. kid when he's working down there to put it on? <laughs> <laughs> you could tell him. Yeah, um, to listen to you better. <laughs> I guess well, we'll probably talk about the disc golf course under the agenda. Um, the green committee's on the agenda. 
Um, uh, Rosie, you want to just talk about the golf commission thing? The golf commissioners? Sure. We met with the Board of Selectmen, um, a couple of members of the Golf Commission, and, and Brian McGlone about the uh, direction of the golf course. And there's some concern that the golf course is not making as much money as perhaps it could, and it is running in a deficit. Um, but at this point in time, they are not looking to us to take over the golf course or do anything along those lines. So what they're really looking, I think, the impression I got is they're looking for us for ways to maybe uh, suggest some things that they might be doing, how to get this advertised better, how to get the word out to the community at large and farther that this is a good golf course and maybe using it for some other things and you know try to increase the revenue. So we do usually advertise it. It's in our brochure. Yeah. 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 But I think it should be more, it should be advertised, the brochure, but somehow out around town because well, a lot of the people that play golf I don't think may not have little kids that come in here and ha get a brochure mm -hmm. and it definitely is a beautiful course mm -hmm. and not many people are there when I play and they, they did they have talked about it I guess they're doing a lot online with it Facebook and stuff like that that's what I'm seeing here the same I would assume it's there but you know yeah. we, we need to talk with them and, and I mean, they have done it since they've hired Mike Pat as the instructor, if you will. Like, uh, I know from a Facebook perspective, he located me somehow, maybe because I'm a commission member for Parks and Rec, I'm not sure how, but I ended up getting an invite to join his Facebook page, and his, so I constantly, not constantly, I regularly, I'll say, get updates from him about some training, and, you know, right. and then it's all about, you know, it says Guilford Lakes Golf Course. So it's interesting that it's, that is helpful. So he's getting it. Yeah. He is. He, he is. is. But maybe he is. where do you yeah. get? The, maybe then the town I don't know website how could I, I promote that. I mean, connect it to the Facebook page because yeah. I was yeah. thinking I never see it. He, the ta the golf yeah. one, but yeah. the town could promote something coming up there. Mm -hmm. on their page. We, have talked about. we can help promote it if they want. We can get it on our Facebook page. Yeah. We got probably twenty five hundred people or our emails. Or we have a bigger database probably than they have. So we, we mm -hmm. so that's one thing we could do, but. I know, they just set up another meeting, I don't think. Did they, Rose? No, we haven't. They were, yeah. uh, Brittany was going to get some facts and figures together. But actually, I, I know Brittany, so I will, I will connect with her, and I will suggest the kiosk, I will suggest the town web page. Mm -hmm. At least. Or, and town Facebook page. Mm -hmm. we about having Simply Guilford. We, we I think they are, that, but I'm not that. sure. <laughs> okay. Anybody thought of, like, have a company come in to run it, and, we, and the town gets a company? Um, I think we did once but it, I think that was even costing much too much to yeah. they looked at that and, and I think it's very expensive to have somebody come in and run it yeah. much more expensive. that was, they did talk about that if I'm not mistaken right Rick? Yeah. yeah yeah so that, that would cost them much too much so well, yeah. right. I'm I mean go round and round and it's quite a lot and they get everything but we get like a percentage like yeah. uh, whatever percentage is but we're not making enough what's that the fee to run it becomes higher than that the money they make. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So no, nobody would be interested in so. stuff. No. Yeah. Well, they might be, but it doesn't benefit us. That's the issue. Yeah. The town to operationally. Mm -hmm. All right. Is there anything else that works? Sure. <coughs> we good? Uh, is, uh, I don't know, forget it. It's not it's down below. <laughs> it's down below. It's down below. Okay. Anthony's report. A lot of nice comments on the fields, I understand, right? Yeah, that's the two things I was going to and highlight there from uh, Soccer Fest. Uh, Soccer Fest was a challenge because it rained every day the week before. And the guys were trying to keep up with the mowing. When they mowed, it was clumping up. And so I contacted uh, Meg Malosesta, who's the president of SCOG, Soccer Club of Guilford, and part of Soccer Fest. And I said, look, we did everything we can. Just want to make sure people don't complain about clumps of grass on the field. But keep in mind, even that Friday, it was supposed to stop raining at noon. It stopped at 4 or 5 o'clock, and it, it rained all day. The guys were mowing in the rain. Um, so the fields came out, you know, they looked as good as we can make them look. Some of the lines faded a little bit because, again, it was raining all the time. But I, I went up there uh, to the high school was on that Saturday, which was their headquarters, and she said, people are raving about how good these fields look. I said, wow, because they don't look too good. <laughs> Not to what we like to see, you know, but um, got a lot of po got positive comments there. And then um, Adams A and B, the, the Little League District tournaments are going on now. They started this past weekend, and we heard some very positive comments uh, Sunday 
uh, I wasn't there, but I heard back from people uh, that uh, they were saying, boy, these fields are great. So I it's good. I also heard back from folks within Little League who uh, tipped their hat about the conditions yeah. of the field. Yeah. And obviously, lacrosse, same. Mm -hmm. So it's been a good rainy season and the grass been, is growing. It's been very good for that. Really nice and clean yeah. for sure. Do, yeah. Mowing is mowing and mowing and mowing. Yeah. <laughs> What's the irrigation like in the infield on the, the at Adams? Yeah, yeah, at Adams. Just the infield. So this is what's called a golf head. It's a big yeah. head in the back. Oh, so they like, have that. Pitchers mound. That, that runs like twice. It's just to water the clay yeah. to keep the dust down on the clay. That's yeah. all that's for. You only put it like one, twice max because otherwise it, it's a lot of water coming yeah. out of things like a fire hose. I had wondered if we had that because I was just at a tournament all weekend softball and they had them. I'm like, those are cool. Yeah, you know? yeah, we do. Yeah. Um, we could turn it on. You can run it if you want to sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know. Nice um, and then we have, uh, the infield has heads in it. So we're working on, uh, in my report, I mentioned I met with uh, an engineer who's, you know, having our budget to irrigate all the fields at Adams. It may not all be in our budget. I think it's going to cost more than what we have in there because we've been expanding. But He's designing that, and um, um, because we only have the infields done right now, so we'll do the outfields. We're talking about all of the the soccer field, and we thought, ah, if we're doing that, let's put the field hockey field in there, you know, and the baseball field. So it's expanding, and when we put the bid specs out, we'll have some of that be alternates. Maybe we don't end up doing it all. We'll have the design for everything at least, and if we don't have the money for it, then we can you know add to it later on. So, but, but yes, we haven't so far. We haven't had to do much with irrigation at all this spring. Oh, you may. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're in summer now. We're in summer now, so we're here in summer. Yeah, we will, yeah, for sure. Right yeah. Okay. Recreation supervisor report. Well, I think the first two things are pretty, pretty, pretty impressive. 184 yes. camp, camps and programs, 2,300 participants right now. And I, I mentioned earlier when Tara was here, 90. 90 campers in that grade 7 to 9 that get all the way out. And again, I remember years where we had 8, 10, 12 kids in that program, and we have 90. And I think all summer long, just those numbers are pretty consistent. Um, so it's amazing how that has grown. It's, and it shows there's a need for that age group, and parents are flocking to it and sign their kids up for it. So we're very thankful for that. The beaches have been going good so far. You know, we had a lot of rainy weekends. Um, uh, this past weekend, we uh, had a couple issues um, uh, at Quantipog. Somebody in the night ran into a telephone pole, and so I got a call on Sunday morning about quarter seven from the public works director that um, he got a call, and he was up there, and the telephone was dangling from the wires. Somebody hit it oh early at like two in the morning. Driving down on seventy-seven. On seventy-seven, yeah. Oh, and it, it well, it was right near the beach, near the and so. I got, I got a hold of the police department because I had to find out could we open the beach, did I have to get a hold of the staff, and there's a blocking entrance. I didn't know where it was, what was going on. And so, um, and then I was wondering, did it shut off power to the bathhouse because that means no, no bathroom facilities. Turned out they shut down one of the, uh, uh, the west lane, but the beach was open. And, you know, but it, soon after the beach opened, I think it was all cleared up. They got a new pole up or whatever. Um, and the same day, down at Jacobs Beach, there was a problem with the septic system, back, system backing up. Uh, I got that call about 8.30 from the police department. And, um, but we got, it, we got it taken care of. It was, it was just uh, a toilet was running and running. It didn't stop running all night long. And so Todd went down today, put a new vacuum breaker in there. And uh, he, I was able to get a hold of him. He's right in town. He went down. He shut it off Sunday morning. We got two Porter Johns there by before noon. So not, everything, everything went. Everything happened. It moved. And, Perfect. Just kind of a Good. little rough <laughs> Sunday morning. Good. And the summer sizzler was was really very nice. We were down there for a while. Yeah. What's the um, just the contact of those who were awarded vending bid at Jacob's no. Beach for June fifteenth? Um. Can I touch your nerve, Rose? Were there food trucks? Were they? The oh food no, trucks no, we just not, no. She. Contacted the food truck. Yes, you did hit a nerve. <laughs> I could tell. Ellen did contact some of these food trucks, but I guess at the last minute, a couple of them thought that they had better offers somewhere else That's and went elsewhere. Uh, it happens so often. And you know, that was. But I think what she's talking about, what she's also talking about here is I, I was I was uh, on vacation when this all happened, but uh, I awarded it to um, 
the ice cream vendor it was a new vendor this year um, and we have a lemonade stand down there now uh, his name's uh, well his name is Nate and it's lemonades oh, yeah. lemonade stand and the lemonade is unbelievably yeah, good yeah it is good it's really good he was he was up at a uh, tournament in Meriden. It's one really good. Yeah. Fresh grease, and, and it's, yeah. you, they, they chop up the strawberries and put it in there. You can get mint in it. You can get cucumber, basil. I mean, you can wow. you have all kinds of yeah. spices you can put in it. I said, wow, basil, lemonade? He said, yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah. I've never thought about putting like a session stand down there, like a, put a building up there with grills and stuff like that, and then bidding. Have people been on it? You yeah, know? well. Well, nowadays with the trucks, right? Yeah, like they do right. Surf, yeah. Yeah. That's what they do with the yeah. surf yeah. Right. All, the trucks are self-contained why, why build something so he has a, a bid with us and he's paid us for the privilege to sell his lemonade down there and he'll be at the fireworks too as, as well as the ice cream yeah. vendor and um, he's there um, every day after 3 15 we tell him they can't be there when camp's there yeah same thing we always told the ice cream vendor because they're constantly distraction, distraction <laughs> run up to the yeah. house oh can i have four dollars want to buy an ice pop <laughs> Um, oh, but it's even more fun when the parents are picking them up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's, 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 we design it that way. <laughs> and then there, there are, uh, whenever, any time in the weekend, they can be there. But um, I, I went down there, yeah, yesterday, and um, uh, Nate, Nathan said he's, they're doing very, they're doing well, so mm -hmm. it's good. Well, it's nice to have something down there because you're really not yeah. supposed to. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, so quite a pause we can't because right. we don't want people crossing the road but yeah. so they had issues with people not showing up for the sizzler apparently or? the sizzler yeah yeah there's no no food truck for the sizzler yeah. the yeah. ice cream truck came the lemonade was there and then the ice cream truck came yeah. as i was leaving um, no i i have to say i i had the same experience when i ran a yeah. fundraiser um for mm -hmm. chloe yeah and um I ended up finding one person at the last minute, and I should provide that name because they're really nice people, and they would never have backed out in a minute. So I should provide that for next yeah. year. Yeah. Well, I would provide it sooner because you yeah. know the things that we wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah he, they were great. I yeah. Because they, they, they were so really sweet. Yeah. yeah. And actually, for the, for the fireworks, we we're, we don't have a, a shortage of fire, food trucks. We got a lot of them, plenty more than we've ever had for the fireworks. I have Taryn uh, in charge of that this year. Okay, we'll see who should I'll be at the final one. Okay, um, seniors report. Other than the fact that it just keeps growing and growing and growing. Yeah, I just highlighted a couple things that, you know, the, you see 140 for the short, strawberry shortcake uh, dessert thing yeah. or the, uh, the picnic at Jacob's Beach, 110 for the Father's Day lunch, 140 for the summer solstice. And like these numbers used to be 50 or 60. That's yeah. what Terry is referring to. The numbers are just going up like crazy. She told me that almost every week, she is in con three or four more new seniors are coming and talking about yeah. what do we have for programs. So it's just it's growing like crazy. I'll be a senior next month. Yeah. Well, see, you can come with us on our yeah. Welcome to the club. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, and, and, and what you talking about? Like, I mean, she she had a trip to the Bellamy Faraday House, and so many people wanted to go in to get free community. Yeah. So that's telling what's happening. Three buses, right. Not, we're we're going to need another bus soon. And we're going to need bus drivers. We have, uh, there's another one in this year's budget, another, another bus. Yeah. Hmm. But we also, I mean, it's, it's shocking the number of people who are using yeah. our buses to get yeah. anywhere. Yeah. And I see them all over. Not I mean, to mention the yeah. trips. And you don't want to go back <coughs> on the trips because there's a lot of people who really... Yeah. I want to go on those trips. I do too. Is mm -hmm. the population growing or is the population aging? aging. The population is aging. Or well, you could say we, the senior population is growing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We did a survey a few years ago for our church and, and Guilford's population is yeah. an aging population, mm -hmm. we found. Yeah. Okay. And then we have the building stuff. I know I've talked to I've talked to Ty about new chairs and tables and stuff, so we're getting there. Okay. We actually just met before I came up here with uh, uh, this. We put out uh, specs for uh, replacing ceiling tiles yes. in the Guilford room. We're, we're the deadline for bids is uh, J uh, July eighth. Perfect. And for the uh, boiler replacement, same day. Okay. Good. So Steve's working with us on that. Steve's yes. Night R. Yeah. Good. Because we do have to get that done. All right, reports of commission. Standing fields, according to what John emailed us, standing fields didn't meet right. in June. So that took care of that. Green committee, did you say, did they meet? Uh, they did. Um, two things I'll report on. They approved the uh, Big Bully trash compactor on the green, which uh, 
I, I just went to the Board of Selectmen this morning for them to approve it. Um, it's a, um, there are a group of businesses that want to buy this. It's not, in it. it's like $6,000. Oh, those of us who seen it, they automatically. Yeah. yeah I've seen a lot of airports have them. Uh, too. Madison yeah. has three, I think, on their uh, main street there, mm -hmm. Route 1. Um, and so uh, they they came to the Green Committee, the, the, um, Kathleen Manello, she's a real estate agent. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and she's gotten together with some other real estate agents and businesses in town. And they want to clean up, the, especially in front of the stores on the mm -hmm. green. Mm -hmm. And so they're proposing buying one of these. They'll buy it and donate it to the town. Wow. So That's Green nice. Committee approved it because it's on the green. Board of Selectmen approved it because it's on the green. Um, and so they know they can start the fundraising now. Um, and uh, the, the plan is to take all the barrels off the sidewalks in front of the stores. This isn't going to replace all those, but this compactor is equivalent to five barrels. You can put five wow. barrels worth of trash in it. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's got a solar powered, it actually it has a program on it so it can send a note to Tony on his phone and say, hey, I'm half full or three quarters full. Tony's going to be empty. You're talking. It, yeah, our guys, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it's, we're doing trash pickup effective today, actually. We started today. Okay. Um, so anyway, the bottom line is that this will replace some of those, but we, we talked about getting the, those little barrels in front of the stores. I, I, every week I'm getting calls from businesses on the green that they're, they're overflowing, which they do. Mm -hmm. But I also told them, because we have trash under our control now, we're going to be doing the trash pickup. Right. We have more flexibility. Mm -hmm. We don't have to say we're only coming Monday, Friday. If it's overflowing on Wednesday, I send a guy there and say, let's go get it. So, you know, but... but um, we want to get them out in front of, from in front of the stores uh, for a lot of reasons. That's one of them, but also they smell, uh -huh. especially in August. You imagine you're in, sitting in a restaurant and uh, bees, flies, uh -huh. all that stuff. So um, I've been talking with Brian McGlone for a few months about this, and we've talked to some of the uh, uh, businesses on the green. And um, I wouldn't say there's 100% support, but there's a lot of support to take them off of there. And what I said to the board of selectmen this morning is that let's try it. If it doesn't work, we put them back. Right. We move them back. It's not a big deal. Let's try it out. Uh, I think it'll beautify it. It'll make it look better. Not having those things. Out. They'll be on the green on the other side, so they still might start to overflow. <laughs> you know, could happen, but it won't be in front of the stores. Hi. Saturday, I was walking down the sidewalk, and the garbage was filled. And then there was a recycle thing next to it. And after our discussion about who reads signs. I just checked to see if it was just recycle and it was just garbage mm -hmm. and yeah. recycle. It's so nobody pays any attention. Yeah. I saw this. I hope they have enough at, energy to walk at, across um, the street. Where we had the tournament, they were, they were just like plastic tops to it but, and, and it said, you know, recycling, mm -hmm. whatever. And then there were just plastic bags. Like the, it was, it was oh, kind of cool. Yeah. It yeah. was really cool. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And then you could see what's going in there, right. you know? That's, yeah. So. Yeah. It's kind of a shame thing, I think, <coughs> when people, mm -hmm. you know. If you go back to what you say, you went to the selectmen with it this morning, what did they say? Are they, they have they it. agreed to do it? They approved okay. it, yeah. A hey, quick question. I'd, I'd love to know. In the Greek, can you get a, uh, can you have a wedding on there? Can you get a permit to get a wedding on the Greek? What do you mean by a wedding? Like a wedding, a wedding ceremony, ceremony on the Greek. Can you get a permit for that? I've married, I've had people, like small groups of people who want to get married on the Greek, and I've done that. Oh, really? Do you have to get a permit, or? No, but it's just for for 15 minutes on the green. Yeah. I mean, we're not setting up chairs. As well. I think if you want to set up chairs yeah, yeah, yeah. and put up a tent, yes, you need to have a permit. For permit. That. And who would you contact that? Board of Select. Board of Select. Even for our concerts, they have to prove yes. our concerts. Get married? No, no, no. <laughs> so, so One just time's enough. So the third of each other. I was down at Chatfinch quite a bit this past week, actually, because I don't ever get out of North Guilford, so I figured. Um, how, why are there so many? We have many... shoreline down here too. Yeah, no, yeah. we have North Guilford though too. People forget that too. Um, why are there so many garbage cans? Down That's there? exactly what I said. They're all. I think John Jagelski actually wrote an email about John, that. They're all. Yeah, yeah. They're all just lined up in the park a lot, and yeah. like they used to be scattered them. around. And actually, one of them looked like something had gotten into it. So again, I was also picking up. Yeah. It looks like he was too at another yeah. point. I just don't recall there ever being that many down there. I think there's, they've been there, but they've been scattered around. They used to be near the picnic tables and, you know, scattered throughout the park. Oh. I think we've always had probably six. So, again, I'm all for. Yeah, and after a storm, out. they're all over the place out. for some reason, you know, because the winds or right. whatever. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know if we have, I think we should pilot it there. You know really if do. we have one, it's going to overflow. Yeah. That's a given. Mm -hmm. I don't think we need five. 
I think two is sufficient, well, and or people just take their garbage out with them. Yeah, well, so that's 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 an option. Um, they do, but I think you know we, we we've highlighted places where we know there are picnics, like Jacobs. Obviously, there are picnics and right. um, in Chaffins there are yep. picnics. And so we thought, ah, you gotta kind of you gotta have some trash barrels here because what are people gonna do with all their garbage? They, I mean, they're not gonna probably take it home with them. Um, uh, look, we can try Maybe anything. Somehow that should be encouraged. Yeah. Like, you know, again, we can't have signs all over the right. place, but. Um, well, actually, even at Jacobs Beach, on, when somebody rents the picnic pavilion, it says you need to, in the, the rental form, yes, says you're you supposed to take your stuff with you. Nobody does. Because yeah. there were barrels there. There were barrels there. But if you go, like, to the Shoreline Green Trail, there's signs up there, take in, take out. Right. Yeah. And I'm sure there's a yeah. dedicated group of volunteers who clean it up, but yeah. on the other hand, you don't. Keep, I take my stuff out. Right. So do I. I don't think. You know? So. But I also know that at uh, Chaffinch, at the end of the trail there, there's a lot of trash stuff. I know somebody goes down and cleans it up. Yeah, I volunteer yeah. voluntarily goes down there and cleans that up because there's always trash down there. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what the answer is. And there's trash pails near the parking area. So yeah. what's the answer here? I don't know. But we could certainly try different things and see how it goes. How about, you know, there, there are fines for littering. So maybe our police department needs to patrol these parks a little bit more or I don't know well how would you know who's doing I mean it's yeah. hard to see who's littering when they just leave the trash there. and go well, you do know, you know if it's a party at Jacobs and there's well we would know that yes know. we would know that but you know maybe we should just cut down on some of the the trash pails and see how it goes well the number I was going to hit that one on E on their unfinished business but the number of barrels we ordered is less than what we're using right now okay so we'll see how that works out okay um, land acquisitions, and she's claims not here, and community center improvements, uh, Todd has pretty much yeah. given us the information on that. All right, disc golf. It seems, are we going to have a grand opening, or what are we doing here? Well, right? the scouts are, uh, they're all organizing in July. Um, so now they're all out of school, and some of them are at scout camps right now or, or next week. Uh -huh. um, looks like around the second week, next week, and the week after is when a lot's going to happen. The, okay, the scout is going to build the bridge. He's starting around then. Um, I met uh, last week with uh, one of the kids who's doing the tee pads. Um, he and there are two different scouts doing tee pads, and they both sound like they'll be around July 14th, 15th, around there. Uh, I ordered the stone dust for them. They have it. It's there. It's ready for them. Um, same thing. The kid is going to put the baskets in around the same time. I'm meeting there Friday with um, Carson Tosta. He he did all the posts, and they're pretty much done. The cedar posts. They're, they're, he's basically done. He did over a period of uh, three Sundays, I think. So I'm going to walk it with him on uh, Friday and see if there's any issues with any of that. But um, there's one he said he couldn't get in the ground because there was ledge everywhere. He kept anywhere he tried digging. So I talked to Craig about it. We'll just find a tree and the sign will go on a tree near the, you know, basically the signs are going to be pretty, um, we're going to make them ourselves, the, uh, the fairway signs. Mm -hmm. It's free. I mean, we can, Ty's already designed something with with, with uh, Craig and the computer, and uh, we'll just we'll probably get, we'll just attach them somehow to these posts. Okay. Good. So we're getting there, and I just have to go back to all the sponsors now and get from them the wording they want, and we'll create those. Those signs will make it a little better. We're not going to just laminate something uh, on our computer. So we'll do something going better. To I heard it was a challenging course because David, who's a friend of Craig's, that's. Yeah. The yeah, yeah, he's, you know, yeah. He's I been playing him, for years, and yeah. he said it was, cha it was yeah. challenging. It was yeah. great. Mm -hmm. yeah. The people in that tournament really liked it. Yeah. So w w I mean, we once we get the baskets in, we can really officially open it. We don't really need the tee pads. You can play without, so you mm -hmm. can't play without well, the we baskets. We need to get the word out, is what I'm saying. We right. Make sure we pick a date where this is like our grand opening. I, I think, you can I think play. yeah, once I know the scouts, they're lined up and everything's okay. done, uh, I, it's probably going to be early August. Okay, just so yeah. we can get, start to get the word out and advertise it. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, but speaking of scouts, what's ever happened to the mosaic that was going to go down at Jacobs? Have we? Yeah, actually, I, I met him down there, um, Michael. Um, he he painted the frame had to get painted around it because it was starting to uh, uh, chip and everything. He was there one day doing it, and um, he said he was about ready to put it up. He's yeah, it hasn't gone up yet. He's, it he's got it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What sort of happened to that? It's definitely ready because the painting's done, and uh, that was about two weeks ago. He was down there doing it. Um, synthetic field. All done? <sighs> yes? Um, no? I thought it was all done. Yes, sir. Oh, is being used. There, there's been a bunch of conference calls. Um, what happened? 
the amount, there's some debate about the amount of infill. And I can't get into all the detail, but there's just a lot of discussion with the installer, different parties, the, um, uh, archi the architect, the engineer who did the, the KBA associates, um, and f field committee, and Cliff Gurnham and me. And so it's playable, it's safe, there's no issues there, but it's just some debate about do they have to add some more of the infill. Um, it has more to do with the amount of reveal, the amount of exposure of the, of the fibers. I, not, I can't give the exact number, but let's say it's supposed to be an inch exposed, maybe it's an inch and a half exposed. And there's some concern, well, that wear, and wear prematurely, um, uh, and, and will that affect the warranty in the field? But the, I mean, the field is warranted for the seven years anyway, so that won't affect anything. But so there's just there's there's a little some emails going back and forth today <laughs> about that. So, um, um, but it's, it's playable. To nip it now. People it's play it now right. Than it's just a question of the probably the town attorney and um, you know others in administration. How much are we going to hold them to their interpretation versus our interpretation? What's supposed to be in there? There's some little conflict of what was spelled out and how it was supposed to be done. Like the little rubber pellets? It's, it's sand, actually. It's acrylic sand. Okay. Acrylic coated sand. So there's nothing structurally wrong with the... No. After they repair it. Okay. Right. No, nothing. And, and it's, it's this what's called a G-Max test. That's, that's the safety issue. Like, if somebody falls on it, the chance of getting concussion, you know, is, is it soft enough surface? It's well, well within the, the, the um, standards for that. Well within it. And the, the maximum G-Max, and I don't know what that... It's 200. I don't know that's what, what that means, millimeter, whatever it is. The, the reference is the, it can't be more than 200, and they're mostly around 80, 90 in that ballpark. So we're well, well within that. So it's not an issue regarding that. It's really more of long term wear and tear, I think. Mm -hmm. So there, uh, there's some debate on it still. But it can, it's, it's playable, and people have been playing on it. Okay. It looked pretty. My granddaughter played in the soccer fest. <laughs> Good. It looked nice. Yeah. Good. Okay. Um, naming Upper Cox. Uh, why, why aren't we just, I wasn't here last month, why aren't we just calling it Upper Cox for now? We Did have we, to take Cox off because we're, know, it's going to be a okay. park that has to be separated. But, you know, when we've named fields, and I've been on this commission a long time, when we've named fields, it's really very significant. I don't want to just sort of rush into naming a field. Yet. So John was thinking, John suggested okay. that we name it something like where it's located because it's easier for like um, when people are coming from out of town to play just to kind mm -hmm. of put that in. Like so Long Hill Park is yeah. mm -hmm. in the street and then yeah. yeah. For now. For now. Yeah. I, think, I think that's so have we decided on that? Do we need a motion to do that, or are we just going to we gotta, do it? Well, I think the Board of Selectmen needs us to come up with a name before they officially say it's a park. Well, then and we, we can't do the, the turf the management on it until... Oh, so what's the name of the... What's the I, was, I, I would suggest the Farm View Park, because the Farm View Drive is right, right the there street. by Cox. Fine. Um, I mean, Dunk Rock is off a little bit, but it's Farm View with Three Mile Course. Three Mile Course is a long name. Right. Farm View yeah, is. Farm View, is farm view kind of fits kind of though because the farm is right there, you know, so yeah. right on the other side is it strawberry fields. We call it strawberry fields forever. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. As soon as you said that, I know. Was gonna but right? then whatever you imagine, name it, it's imagine. still going to be Cox Upper Field. Like, that's just yeah. it. live here, it will be. And it's never going to be. Right. But I think probably <laughs> Farm View is good. And, and then until, I don't know, you never know what will happen in the right. future, but that it, it leaves pretty. it open. I just started out. Anyway. Is that a consensus and everybody? I don't think we need a motion. Is that a consensus? Yeah. Farm View. Excuse me? You said Farm View. Is that the name of the road up there? Yes. Yeah. That's the name of the road it's that's on. It's kind of like the Cox is here. That's there. You can, then you don't want people on the So it is a road that people will be able to find on their GPS. Yeah. Right. But that, that doesn't Cox uh, immediately adjacent to the Three Mile Course? It, it is. Road right. goes. So why would you name it Three Mile Course if it's immediately it's adjacent? So to because it's so terribly long to put oh, okay. on signs and everything. Yeah. So and we, Farm View sounds, sounds nice. Farm View is easy. I mean, three yeah. miles yeah. Yeah. I mean, close enough. I need to where the road splits like right by. I do too, but it's close enough. Then you're going to get people on Farm View complaining because everybody's going to be driving down the street. Uh huh. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't mm -hmm. think about that. Seriously. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know it. <laughs> I, it's I can't gonna, remember though. Is Farm View, I mean, there's a three mile course. What's the one that goes? Okay, well, we're going to need to Google it. <laughs> I should know this. Yeah. I, drive, I drive it all the time. I don't look at the signs. <laughs> That's why I thought that was Farm View, that it was on the corner. Yeah, Stuhl, I thought it was the corner of Farm View and the Three Mile Course. No, Farm View, I think, is it? 104. 
Because Dunk Rock is it's yellow. It's going to be whatever Cox School's address is, I believe. Well, that's three-mile course. Okay. That's a three-mile course. We'll call it three-mile course. So it looks like you come off. So it's a bigger sign, but, you know, we'll live. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just feel like Farmview is Yeah, Farmview Lane is kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of it's it's in the It's at the intersection. Front door faces that way. Yeah. Three mile course and what else? Farmview. Farm yeah, oh, yeah. Farmview Farm is yeah. what's the school is on, on the corner there. Yeah, Rose, we're looking, like, we're looking at the map right now. Farmview is the one where the buses yeah. pick up. But yeah. Farmview, the, the front of the school, is Farmview, yes. right? No. It's not. No, no it's three miles. Three miles. Three miles. Three three mile 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 no. no, it's kind of like. It's always confusing. It's confusing yeah. because. Oh, it's not like Farmview. My turn. Not that's as familiar. Always, three miles course is pretty familiar to people. Yeah. That road. Farmview Farm Farm is not. Yeah, I know. And Farmview is a dead end too. Yeah. So I don't. Yeah. I think it might be three mile course. Is a better fit. Oh no, and there's a far, Farm View Lane and a Farm View Drive. Oh, right. that could be super confusing. Yes. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. How about just three mile course? Then let's just stick with three mile it's course. The, okay. It's the address, it's the, you know, yeah. This way people will find it. People here. It's always confusing. Nice farm view, they recognize three right. And course, it's always so. confusing when you get up there, people who don't yeah. know where they're going, so. Somebody will be in next month to name it after the relative. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? When we yeah. think fields, it can't be something like pretty like, like, say, substantial. So I don't think we're going to do this lightly right, or so quickly. We'll just lead you there. You know, I mean, I think back to, I mean, you know, Ralph was, did a lot for, for Community Center mm -hmm. Parkway, oh, yeah. and so did um, Ken Mulvey. Ken Mulvey, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, Ken, we, we will not is, do this lightly. Is that going to have to be another park on Long Hill? Right. Is that going to have to be now another park that we... Do you guys, you and um, Claire, did the number of benches at each park? We're going to have um, to do that. This is more now. of a field than but a still, park, so yeah. I don't I think, think we're going to go look to do benches there, really. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's really not that kind of a. It's well, as long as that's known to the public, because you're, if you get yeah. inquiries, yeah, then you're going to be in the they, same. You could, you could spring for a player's bench. Right. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Or bleachers. Or bleachers. Or parents. Yeah. Okay. And grandparents. <laughs> All right, we didn't get a chance to meet, so we're still working on our parks master plan. Did you so. meet on Wednesday with anybody? Uh, no. Because I never heard back from you, and then when I was driving down, I thought, oh, I was supposed well, to meet with Rose. See, I didn't get your email to say you were going. So I, the, I, never, I never knew, but I knew you said I was you, out of town. And Claire said she couldn't come, and actually Claire forgot, I think. And then Rick couldn't come, and Rick said because she didn't hear from anybody else either, she assumed it wasn't, it all just sort of fell apart. All right, trash collection. I think we've talked about that. Is there anything more we need to know about so collecting our trash? We started yeah. today. We, okay. uh, we got the, um, the Perkins one that we're going to, eventually is going to be our recycle truck, so we don't have the trash is truck yet. practice run one night? We just got it today. Well, oh. we got it Friday, but today's the first day I we used it. I saw on the corner, like across from the library, probably at 9 o'clock one night. And I said to my husband, oh, look, there's her new whatever, and apparently it wasn't. There's another company called Gorilla that, that okay. has one. Okay. It might have been theirs. Uh, theirs is on a pickup truck. Ours is on a dump truck temporarily. Eventually, it's going to go on a pickup. But uh, Tony did it today, and uh, he wanted to be the first one to use it to work out any bugs and see how long it took to do it. He didn't get everything done um, because he was doing other stuff you know, in between. But okay. um, um, I think it's going to be a good addition for us. And... Um, so we started with that. The, the barrels are on order. I think we're going to get those next. Oh, I want to show you. We're going to get them next week. So there is a schedule. There's a set schedule for the trash pickup, and then if people call in. I yeah, mean, our schedule. Be, it, it I mean, we'll probably follow a similar schedule to what we've been doing is Mondays and Fridays. Oh, that's cool. uh, those are the barrels that are ordered. Uh, blue is going to be recycling, and green yeah. is uh, trash. And we, we made it clear. It doesn't say recycling, it says bottles and cans mm -hmm. only. Mm -hmm. That was a recommendation yes, somebody yeah, gave us, because yeah. then people don't know about styrofoam cups, right. and they're not recyclable. So mm -hmm. we, we made it clear mm -hmm. um, what it is, and uh, we should have those next week. Uh, I haven't got an update on the trash truck, but our uh, understanding is we should have that by uh, July 15th. So for now, okay. we have this unit that's the dump body is really what it is. It went on a, on a truck, uh, but it has the grabber, you know, for grabbing the barrel and picking mm -hmm. it up. And um, so for now, we're using that. For now, we're using our old 55-gallon green barrels that we had years ago, because that's all we have for now. Mm -hmm. 
but that's you know we knew it was going to be a little interim time to do this because the contract ended yesterday with our hauler, mm -hmm. and yeah. so we knew today we had to start. So Tony and the guys got all the barrels out Friday um, because we knew they were going to start picking them up this weekend. Mm -hmm. We didn't want to have the Little League tournament, for example, at Adams and no barrels. Right. Um, but the hauler hasn't picked up all the barrels yet anyway. We still have them at Adams. They're elite. They're here. Um, so, but we got bar our barrels out as many places as we could. Good. Where we need them the most. Okay. Well, let's just keep an eye on it and see how it goes. Okay, the tent rental for Jacobs. Yeah. Um, did I? I think I handed this out. Yeah, you did. So um, Ellen was uh, working on this, and we got three quotes. Um, only one company talked about purchase. I don't think we even talked with it with other companies about purchasing. Um, but Newport Tent is one you suggested, yeah. Suzanne, and their yeah. price is actually the best um, for the rental anyway. You can see the sizes are all a little different. Yeah. Um, I, I just want to, well, I, I want to talk about rent versus purchase. Um, if, if we purchased it, for example, from Newport Tent, I mean, in three years, we will have more spent more than what it cost to buy it. What about storage, though? That's, yeah. that's, that's the point I want to make. Yeah. If we purchase it, it's ours. We have to set it up. We have to take, well, we can maybe contract somebody. I don't say we have to do it. Okay. But we have to store it, possibly, yeah. probably. Um, if there's a storm coming up, we got to take it down. Yeah. I think, and, and here's the other thing. We don't know how it's going to work out. We don't know what it's going to look like yet. We don't know if people are going to have a, a concern about the way it looks. It's just nothing like the one that Will Thompson originally designed was like a wispy With a sale, sale yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. This is a tent. And so, and we didn't get approval for a permanent tent anyway. We got permanent approval for the uh, board and the platform. Mm -hmm. We can rent a tent for a season. It's not permanent. It goes up, comes down. So whether it's a big tent, we buy it, whatever, it, it's, it's not permanent anyway. But um, I think my suggestion would be that we, we rent it for a year. Let's see how it is. Yeah. If, if it's something we like, uh, if it gets a lot of use, um, and if we want to buy it or one like it the next year, uh, or maybe there are different styles that come out that we can look at, this is going to be kind of a, um, a frame tent, you yeah. know, big frame tent. It's a tent. It's not anywhere near what Will was really suggesting. Size. Is that size? No. No, I don't think we want the sides, no, I, especially with the wind and everything. Yeah, you don't yeah. want Yeah, yeah. Well, we, 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 we would not get it with the sides. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It'd be open. But it's not an anchor tent. It's that two months of that. Well, I think we got to talk about that because yes, because that well originally we wanted this like right after Memorial Day, yeah. and um, we put it off because the suggestion was to think about maybe buying one, and I, I said, well, we, that's got to come to the commission. I'm not going to just say yes, let's go buy it. So um, we don't have it yet. So even if we say yes today, it might be a week before we get it. So when you normally get bids, I assume that they're. Just because I have experience with it, I assume that there's always usually at least three bids. Yes. Do you try to? Parts. Do we try to level bids here? You know, right. So like. I'm sure you guys bid level, don't you? Like, you know, you see a Guilford company. Like, do you, do we try to level the bids where like it's we can come back and say, you know, uh, can you come down a little? Can you? Technically, you know, I, I mean, I have to check that with our purchasing yeah, agent. We, I don't think we, we can do that. We personally would not do that. Yeah. 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 That's up to, okay. to the town to do that. Right. We would not okay. personally do okay. that. Um, so, so is there a chance we're going to call them up and say this is not the full three months? Can you give us a better deal? Or, or we extend it to mid-September because I mean, still people are down there. Mm -hmm. You know, we want lifeguards. We still have picnics and things. And I, I think this is something, another thing we can rent out. And then if we end up in the future, if we end up doing that splash pad, splash pad will be just beyond where this is. I could just see the birthday parties. You rent a tent, you get the splash pad. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I think it, it's going to be a source of income. Just right. finding the place to. Yeah. All right. So this is just a place for shade, obviously. Yes. People put the lawn chairs. It's going to go over over the. You know, we have that new platform. Yeah, yeah. So half of the. This is half the platform. The platform is 26 by 33. Mm -hmm. So 25 by 30 is basically half that yeah. platform. The other. <clears throat> soon the other half would just be there with. Anybody can use it if they want. You know, it would be a shaded area. And right now, Lemon 8, we have him setting up in that area. Yeah. Um, you may have to move a little bit. Right. Well, we can move a little bit. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, can we get a motion to rent? And I, I assume we're going to want to look at the Newport Tent Company. It's 
best price. And yeah. Suzanne, you, I think you said you had some they're experience fantastic. with them. Yeah, they're uh -huh. I've, I've used them quite a few times. Yeah, before. Ellen met with them down. And she said they were very, very good to, to work with, to meet with. Yeah. Okay. All right. So can we get a motion to uh, rent the tent for $5,825? I will, oh, you may. Okay. I'll make a motion to um, rent a tent down at Jacob's Beach for $5,825 um, for this summer. Okay. See how it goes. Second? Yep. Second. Okay, any other discussion on this? Um, I think it's how we did, like, I mean, we're pretty, we're pretty far into the season. Well, I think we'll, we'll, wait we'll talk year. about that price because, again, I'm, I don't have more backup from uh, Ellen on this. With them, so I don't know if that was a an uh, an eight week mm -hmm. rental. You know, uh, if it is, then we'll go into September. We'll get eight weeks, and whatever it is, we'll go into September. Mm -hmm. I don't think it would hurt going into even mid September because there's still a lot of people, a lot of picnics down yes, there. Yes, and weekends and stuff. The weather can be beautiful. Right. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Opposed. Okay. All right, parking. 52 Church Street. Rick, I thought they were going to put some crushed stone over there. Well, that, that was, well the last uh, conversation or email I got from um, the town engineer was that that property is not under jurisdiction of the Parks and Rec Department, but Board of Selectmen, and they have to make a decision if they okay, want to do that. Ask because uh, well, Matt was on Matt the uh, he, he was, was on that email, I think, and so I haven't heard back. Uh, you know can where you we contact are with that. Him because yeah. I'm 90% sure that. I heard from them that they were going to put some gravel down there. Yeah. Well, don't forget it's within the historic district. Right. Which I, I found that out too. It has to go to historic too. district commission. But she needs. It's just a matter of gravel and yeah. parking lot. Yeah, but you still need to say yeah. you're doing that, and you need yeah. them to say, okay, we don't care about that. Right. Yeah. Right. I think what Janice was looking for is, is, is a site just plan, a or she's got to create one because mm -hmm. you need a site plan to go to the historic district. Uh, yeah. And planning and zoning actually has to approve it too. Well, let's get on it. Then, yeah. Please. Yeah, it's it's kind of not in our hands, but I'll I'll try to push it. I will tell you that the seniors, that's, that's all I hear from people is that mm -hmm. there is no place to park. Yeah. I all heard I it here too. on the bus trip there, and I heard it on the bus trip back, and I heard it all I got everywhere. to park there during graduation because nobody knew about it. I was like, yes. Yeah, you were lucky. <laughs> but, but it's... <laughs> You know what doing donuts back there. I saw it. No, not me. No, actually, it was parked right in the front. There was only two other cars around. I was like, oh, I felt okay. kind of guilty. I've used it too. I use it because there's no place to park now. I mean, show up here tomorrow. I show up on Friday about quarter of 12, and you will not find a place to park anywhere. You can always park in the green. A lot of these people can't walk from the green. Yeah. And, you know, and the problem during the year, not so much this time of year, but the problem during the year is that at just about the same time of day, you have parents coming in to pick their kids up from preschool, mm -hmm. and they've got, like, you know, two, a couple of kids, so mm -hmm. you, you can't expect them to come walking down from the green to pick up their kid to go all the way back. I mean, what a chore. And they complain as well. I've heard the complaints from them as well. So it's, it's a tough it's a tough thing, and surprisingly, we are increasing the number of seniors here, and we are increasing the number of handicapped Places Parents as well. pull in, teachers are out there, you have they sign no. a form and they pick up and go. Well, Why do they even the have to time. park? Um, yeah, they get it. Not, they, they don't all just get here at the same time. Yeah, they don't oh, get okay. it at the same time. It's, it's, it's not quite like. Yeah, okay, like a, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a little. So, what do we have? Like, where you got just a temporary parking there with, with gravel? Yeah, just, to, just until they decide what they're going to do with it and how we're going to do that. That's what we've asked that they do something because when it rains, it's very wet back there. Mm -hmm. and it's, yeah. And it's interesting because there's stone already back to the public works back there. And people there. are parking there already. Um, so when they took the garage down back there, they created a stone way going how, in. And how, all we want to do is right. extend that a little bit, but how we have to go through a big. How long will it take for for like a decision to be made exactly what is going to go on? I that? I have no idea. I've asked a few people a few times, and I can't seem to get a straight hmm. answer on what's going to happen. How about a flash pad? Flash pad and the kids uh, playground. Yeah, there's a thought. <laughs> how many? How many? And no and no parking. They, no I don't parking. know. They can walk. I don't know for sure. I mean, we need it. I'm just curious. I don't know for sure. I'm hearing, sometimes I hear, what, 28 spots, sometimes I hear 40 spots. I've heard I mean, 30. Yeah, yeah, I'm hearing all kinds of things. So I, I have no idea yet what the plan is. Okay, last thing. Uh, we, we tabled the request for the bench till we get to read the information. And ADA access. We need to get ADA access at Quantapog, and we need to get it at Challenge. I've Ben, and I think John makes a, a good point at Bittner. We need to um, get another uh, 
handicapped yeah, parking. Yeah, well, no, we know about that. Yeah. Public Works we talked to, the, the problem that have been there is there's a big puddle right there. And they got we got to get them to cut the curb and drain mm -hmm. the water out because uh, we're not going to create a handicapped spot and they're getting out into a puddle. Exactly. So, so we need to put some pressure on them. Yeah, I talked that. to John about that. We need to really city. get these things done. Yeah. Um, so corner park is going to be easy. We just need to put the same sort of thing that we put at Jacobs mm -hmm. so that people can have access to the beach. So let's look into that. And then I think we probably have to walk Chaffinch and see exactly where we can put and what, we're, what we want to put there. Yeah, so we'll, I'll put um, a measure for quantum pot, the distance, and, and we'll, we'll know what we have to get, and then we'll uh, look at that. Chittenden is, is pretty good as it is because you can get out of your car and wheel right. There's no problems mm -hmm. in there. Uh, Rollwood, until we see what the town is going to do with the other right. property, I think we just can't do anything at Rollwood. Mm -hmm because they, they're talking about building behind that. So let's mm -hmm. wait on that until we see what happens. Nut Plains, I understand, is, is handicapped accessible fairly well. To the dog park. To the dog yeah. park. Yeah. How about to the field? It's gravel park a lot. Um, it's pretty flat. It's flat, it's pretty compacted. Yeah, I mean, I think if they, if they want to go to the far field, probably the best thing is they park over on Dome Avenue. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, the McHenry field, you know, way in the back there. That would be the closest. And then it's easy access. Okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure these places have some easy access because it's not easy. And I, don't, I don't know if there's a, a sign posted. I personally haven't checked, but if there's a handicap sign on one of those for one of those spots. Okay, we should double. Let's. Can we go through all the parks? Can you remember to have mm -hmm. somebody do that and check to make sure we still have all the handicap signs up? Because sometimes I know they do disappear. Mm -hmm. And we should have at least one at every park. Minimum. Yes. Yeah, I know. I know we have a long hill over by the barn there. Right, but like I say, sometimes they take a walk too. So <laughs> that's all regulated by the state, right? How many? How many have to have? Right? There's supposed to be a certain number yeah. per number of spaces. There's a yeah. percent. Mm -hmm. I think we need to increase the number of them here too, as well. But we'll have to wait on that. Um, yeah, Daniel Avenue really isn't. There's no parking there. There's no parking there, so we don't yeah. have to really too much about handicap access. Mm -hmm. So I think I've pretty much looked at most of our parks, but those are the two that are, are lacking. So um, I don't know if you and I want to take a walk one day, and then we'll come back next month with a absolute... We could definitely do Corner Pog, and yeah. then we'll come back with a plan for Chaffinch next month. Okay. Because we need to move on these things. Well, as you do your parks master plan, you can check the. We can do that as well, but I, yeah. But in case I can't get the whole committee together, at least Rick and I can go and take a look at these things. Just at, at least at Chaffinch. Corner Park, I know we, what we need. Mm -hmm. We need the same thing we have at Jacob so that you can wheel right down to the water. Okay. Any other business to come before us. Are you going to take up John's suggestion for a drilling policy? Oh, I, you know, I had to underline that. I forgot. John's, well, I suppose we can look at that. I mean, it's, it's, um, I don't know. Do you think we need to, do you think we need I a John policy? I don't. I think that's out of our scope. I think it's out of our scope. And I think if there's nobody at the park, what would be the problem? You think a drone policy? I mean, I think if, if the park is filled with people, <laughs> then somebody you would know better than not to play with your drone. Uh, um, I, 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 I wouldn't uh, trust the people. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there's a town ordinance or on either, either a town ordinance or the local police. You know yeah. what? Let me. I was going to. I was going to. Um, right, worried about okay. whether or not someone's flying a drone in our park. I was going to check right. with the police about Seaside yeah. Avenue. Why don't yeah. I check with them about the, yeah. if there's a drone yeah. policy yeah. as well? Yeah. How's that? Yeah. And I'll get back to everybody. Yeah, I'll check with them and see if there's a town ordinance. Yeah. They'll know. Yeah. Okay. I'll check with them. All right. Anything else? Okay. Motion to adjourn. I make a motion that we adjourn from the July 1st meeting. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.
Oh, don't forget, Dude, fireworks are coming up.